For those of you out there writing film theory, a book still well worth reading, despite having been published back in 1974, is Dudley Andrews' The Major Film Theories and Introduction. And one of the reasons it's so good to take a look at this book is because he sets out what film theory is supposed to be, as opposed to what it is. So for instance, he's talking about how film theory should be concerned with what he calls cinematic capability. And this is not just what films do, which is what most film theory concentrates on, but what films can do. Now, our ideas of what films can do need to be considered in the light of the fullest possible understanding of the economic and artistic systems within which films are made, but so much film theory focuses just on what films are doing within those fields rather than thinking about what they can do. So Andrew points us to people like Siegfried Eisenstein and André Betzin and Siegfried Krakauer, and I would even put in there the film theory of Godard. <laughs> 